turn to sing hymn number 134. And the Jehovah bring him to this glory land. I am We bless and we worship your holy name. Thank you for your keeping power. Thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for having brought us before your presence this morning. And we thank you for all you've been doing since we came this morning. And now you want to speak to us again. Lord, I pray as our faces are different. So our needs are different, Lord. I pray that you meet us at our points of needs. I pray that your word will extract our lives. I pray that your word will discover us. I pray that your word will heal us. Thank you because I know you have answered. For in Jesus' name I have prayed. We say, Oh, yes, Demo, and I have bought Empire. Once again, you are welcome to yes, I my acquire Babu, our Sunday Light Fellowship. Ediba and they requested the high name. We are bringing you a message titled, Yeah, they are same. Ah, Yatuni didn't say, Scarpering as cheap without a shepherd. Yes, Ramon, Britia be. 
Yasem ne yatu ne din se ye nanti nanti et se enwan a won ni hwefo Turn to Mark chapter 6 Ye mbie ye twasem no nko Marko ngoma itre a eye nsia I read from verse 80 to verse number 34 Yi mu eduasa kopem eduasa nine And the apostles gathered themselves together unto Jesus and told him all things both what they had done and what uh, uh, and what they had taught and he said unto them come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while for there were many coming and going and they had no either so much as to eat and they departed into a desert place by sheep privately. And the people saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran a fort, Tita, out of the cities, and outwent them, and came together unto him. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people, and was moved with compassion towards them because they were as sheep not having a shepherd and he began to teach them many things na asma fo no bo bo awon anu ba yesu nchen na wo be ka de wo yo eno de wo chirechire eno nyina chire no na o se won se mun so mumra mesrin ko esre so fa baby na mun ko hume kakra na won aware ba no wore ba ni won aware kro do so na won nya adaje en didimpo na wo de kudo si mu ko esre so fa baby na nkrofo hunu won se wore kro enso na pi in ni won na won nam fem free in kro no nyina mu tutu mrika ko ho na wo tware won ano wo tware won ano na yesu si fam no ohunu nkrofo pi na wo ye no mobo e free se na wo te se nwan a woni hwefo na ofiti ase a chere chere won no ma pi look at verse number 34 again and yeah. jesus when he came out saw much people and was moved with compassion toward them because they were as sheep not having a shepherd and he began to teach them many things yen san she yiyi mu aduasa nan ni bio na yesu si fam no ohunu nkofo pi na wo ye no mobo e free say na wo te say enwan a wo ni hwefo na ofiti ase a chere chere won nyoma pi in the uh, in the record of matthew of this incident he said Jesus had compassion on them. Eti die eti tra e pese e fe fe asemi mu ne se Yesu ehu won mobo. Because they were like sheep without a shepherd. San se no want to say enwan a oni hwefo. You need to understand what happened as at that time. E se wo nya nti ase e fa die si sa bre no ho. From the book of Malachi to the gospel of Matthew or to the time that Jesus came was about a space of 400 years. And so within this time, there was no prophet. Nobody was calling anybody to God. It was a total darkness. I mean spiritual darkness. They were without God. If you want to get the picture very well, then you go to Matthew chapter 4. So that you, you can understand what was going on as at that time. In Matthew chapter 4 from verse 14. Matthew, that, that it may be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying the land of Zebulun the land of Nephilim by the way of the sea beyond Jordan Galilee of Gentiles the people who sat in darkness saw great light and to them we sat in the region 
and shadow of death, life is sprung up. And from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Sebulon assassin Naphtali Asase Epukwainso Yordan Eja Amanama Galilia or my hour tissu muno hunu hai kes ye be na won awa ti o wo asase swani ni sun sum muno hai bi epwe ama won e free sa breno yesu free asia ka asem se mun sacha mo ajin na osu ahinye no abein. So God being God who declares the end from the beginning knew that prophecy will stop with Malachi. And from Malachi to the uh, time of Jesus, the people would have gone into deep darkness. Now, because so when we say thick darkness, it means they will not have a shepherd who will be calling them, counseling them, teaching them about God. So suddenly Jesus came. And it was a light thrown in a thick darkness. He was healing people. Raising the dead. Preaching the gospel. It was a light that came in the midst of darkness. And so the people were trooping. They were coming in their numbers. And they wanted to you know, kind of stampede him. That's why Jesus said <inaudible> that the, 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 the harvest is already ripe, but the laborers are few. Pray for the Lord of harvest that he can bring harvest into his vineyard. Because no one person could do that. And so this place we read in Matthew chapter, uh, Mark chapter 6, verse 34, he just he gave us a picture of why Jesus said what they said, they are like sheep without shepherd. When we say scarpering as sheep without shepherd, we are simply saying a generation that will be moving without a shepherd, without a guide, like orphans. And that's where many have found themselves now. So we are actually living at a terminal part of the end of the church. And the prediction of the scriptures make the daily headlines of news media. Therefore, he behoves every shepherd to continually warn the flock of the veins that will portend the great danger to the heaven-bound Pregrins. So the scripture have predicted again. That toward the end of time, we are going to experience darkness again. We are going to see a situation. We are living as though they don't have a shepherd. Ah, Where there will be no guides. Where people will be scampering for truth. And a good pastor, a good church, 
Now a sorry be at Yase no. Must continue to warn people. And so cause to bo na sorry ma koko. Must continue to tell people. And so cause to church and ma. The events of the last days. And your ma efa ewe yem reno. Particularly. Kankara no. The spirit of deception. Aye na da home home. That we come. I mean, like a crowd. Ah, a beba be drew a nipa mat to say mununku and sweep so many people away. Na edi enko fo be bre ako. So we are going to see this message in two subheading. Enti ebe che ya sem ni mu emie nu. Number one. Ye di kain. The people in question. A nipa ye kan wo mwa sem no. Number two. Ye tosu mi no. The possible reason for the poverty. Senti a ehiya wo no. Who are the people in question? Why mu ni ye kan wo mwa sem no. Who are the Bible referring? Why have they found themselves in such a situation? That's what we're going to consider. And I believe that the Lord will help you. That after the discussion, we will be on the lawn. So let's go to point number one. The people in question. First of all, we we'll look at the Jews. The Jews were God covenant people who should have knowledge, but unfortunately didn't, didn't hence the disorder. Jews for yen kofu ana kanya kuponi wawo apam a esen ko unya nimdi e na so ti anye yen ni se na wo ni nimdi e. The people that Jesus met. Kofu a na Yesu ka wo asem. If they had knowledge. Esen ko wo nimdi e a. If they were able to read the handwriting on the wall. Esen ko no wo to make kai trust trust na wo e bai no hu na. They would have known what Bible said concerning their time. An ko mu bet me hu di e trust sem no ka fa wo mre hu. Jesus said to them, Yes, to catch her one saying, Your house is left desolate. Oh, I come and wait three because you do not know the time of your visitation. Sansena, oh, my name, oh, my strash, every only very few people were able to read the time of their visitation. Nipaka Krebi, no, my who said, Yamia Bestra said, Then you can this, you can discern the weather and know when rain will soon fall, but you cannot read. The hard writing on the wall. Okay, chair. On se mutu mi she we mu hu se emre no e adane na su mutu mi hu a tre a e wo e bai no hu. They would have been able to know what Jeremiah said. Enti on e ye de Jeremiah kan ye no. In Jeremiah chapter eight verse seven. Wo Jeremiah ngu ma tre mo tre ni mu song. Jeremiah eight seven says, "Yea, the stock in the heaven knoweth her appointed time." And the turtle, and the crane, and swallow observe the time of their coming, but my people know not the judgment of the Lord. Yeremiah, it's re a e e e e ngo tre yi munso e su kongo a e wo bi e mupo nim ne bre e nyang kungu a sum fina katechi ni nengi uma we in one bad bread. Now, so me my a name a rade a shed ye. He talking about the ignorance of the people. O kasafa e nipa mano wamo nimdiye a abo. The ignorance that they will display. Wamo ano o kasafa wamo no. If you if you have documentaries. Se ushe abakwa se mwa. About animals. En se ma ya chua afa e mwa hon. You would have learned a lot. A ka obe siyan be bre. He talked about swallows. E ka sa fa e no ma. He talked about different kind of animals. A bro no ma ni mwa mwa be bre. Nature teaches them when to migrate. Ah, ya chua se e wye mo sa chua ye chua on bre e se on mo tu kwa ye. At a particular time in the month. E wo bo su me bi mo. They know when to migrate. E wo a fi ni mo no mo tu kwa ye. They begin to move from this region to another region. O mo free be bi a o mo te no ko bi a fi. Both turtle, turtle, and a boas or different animals, and in what be brave, even birds, and in no man, different type of animals, and what be brave, nobody touch them. Oh, be in what church, they know now, so one name went to migrate a brave so move free by the other day to this region. A free beer on what could be a full when the other region are in summer. Eti ebi mo ko wabra a wia abo. They don't want to leave that place. Se wia abo a mo free bia mo te. A mo ning time a so a mo sign ba. A mo a. He said, go to the ants. O se ko abo an te ti an che. Go and learn wisdom. Na ko si an yansan. They don't have heads. A mo ni 
they know what to do. Now, so who named their son here? Need bread so much. Now, so they are created in the image of God. Ah, nyango po abo wo wo ne sasso. Yentimi ehu. They cannot learn. Yentimi ehu. That is a terrible thing. Eya dia ehu ye. So we are simply saying. Now, so ye ko so kasi. That the Jews are supposed to have knowledge. Jews for na ke so muhu nyango. And if they have knowledge, they would have been able to know what the law was saying. And kombe hu dia na nyango po eka. And when there's knowledge, na se nim dia ehu wa. There will be order. As demonstrated by the sheep, now said they are true. We being led by the shepherd. Say a giant shepherd and a shepherd. Let's see in Psalm number twenty-three. Yeah, but Psalm shepherd and yom a edi. Even the sheep. A true a yet you know me and Psalm. They have knowledge. In my po omu woni mbi. At the result of that, enunti they submit. Omu pre wonhu ase to the shepherd. E de ma o giant shepherd. And David was speaking. David from the experience every and from observation because he was a shepherd. Now let's look at the attitude of the, shepherd, uh, uh, the sheep toward, toward the shepherd. He said, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He make him to lie down in green pastures. He leaded me beside still waters. He restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. That is the attitude of the sheep. He followed the shepherd. He allowed the shepherd to guide him. He allowed the shepherd to take him to great pasture. He knew that the shepherd carried it for him. And so he submits to the shepherd. But it is not practically so with human beings. And Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 27. I know my sheep. I know them by name. They hear my voice and they follow me. But unfortunately, in the house of God, we have shepherds. But most of the time, the shepherds do not follow the, 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 the I mean the sheep do not follow the shepherd. They don't allow themselves to be guided. They don't allow themselves to be led. They don't take counsel. And that's why we have a lot of problems even in the house of God. Because many people choose to go their way. Many people, many people who are supposed to be many people who are supposed to be sheep rather turn to be goats. And we are told that in the kingdom of God, we have sheep and goats. And we display the character of the sheep. The sheep follows. The sheep listens. The sheep takes counsel. The sheep allows the shepherd to guide him. The question is, are you a sheep? Are you a goat? We know the character of goat. Goat is stupid. That goat is selfish. Goat is self-centered. And so many other things we know about goats. But we're supposed to be shepherds. I mean we're supposed to be sheep. And then take counsel from the Lord. And the Lord Jesus said, I know my sheep. I know them by name. They hear my voice. They follow me. So today, people that should belong to the category of the elect are being apparently deceived and disoriented. People that are supposed to be sheep. 
Amen. Are running into trouble. Are being disoriented. As though there is no shepherd. They are running up and down. They do drink bad water. Because they have refused to be guided. They have refused to be shepherds. I have had my pastor say one time. He said, whoever we see at the end we will take. That is, that is a language of frustration. Sometimes when I see the behavior of people, when I see what people do in the hands of God, it breaks my heart. They don't know that the house of God is a family. They don't know that they belong to a family. They don't recognize that they should be guided. They should be directed. Apart from people that told me that they will be going somewhere and they got permission, a number of people are not in church today, more than 20 people. Because where have they gone to? If anything happens to them, who is accountable? Where would he charge it? You died a missionary. You, you died in the cause of evangelism. Nobody knows your whereabouts. You do whatever you like. You wake up in the morning and just go. It breaks, it breaks hearts. If you are a true shepherd, he breaks heart. Can you imagine somebody in a family? And then you leave, you leave house, you didn't tell your parents, you didn't tell anybody in the house, and you spend two, three days in the house. You can imagine the feelings of people that are living in the same house with you. Because that action shows that the person is not responsible. It's not, it's not responsive to any person. Now, what is the consequence? The consequence is what we are what we now going to read in Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Verse number 24. Matthew chapter 24. Let's see verse 24. And it says, For there shall arise false Christ, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. The very elect is deceived because it's not informed. Now, Christo, a true for near deep for a true for best sorry. Now, obey and century near Cassiania on my dear. Now, say, bet to me, I can't bet that that won't away you won't pull. Won't away you won't know. Son, say, won't need him, dear. He's not guided. Omuni a church for nobody is showing him that we are in the terrible times. Be an church and say you are brave, bonny moon. Say whatever you want to say. Many people don't come to Bible study. They don't come to charismatic hour. Can the Obe can be a bit more charismatic hour? Na a ban no Bible and church or so a omba. How will they know? Omo be here then omo who? How will they see the danger coming? Omo be then who say the e who e ba? No wonder many fall victims. In many ways. They run into the hands of evil people. They believe anything. Because they are not informed. They are carried away by every wind of doctrine. They cannot discern error from fruit. Why? They are not taught. So instead of focusing on substance. Instead of focusing on substance of religion, they are pursuing chaff. They are not shepherded. Because they are not informed. What do they do? 
They follow chaff. Let's, let's look at Genesis, I mean, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 28. The, 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 the faith of those that are not shepherded. They easily run into error. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 28. The prophet that had a dream, let him tell the dream. And he that had my word, let him speak my word. Faithfully, what is the chaff to the wheat, says the Lord. Manonka ne daya so na de masem wane hono manam no kremu e de na intete ni e yo e woye. Because they are not properly fed. What happens? They pursue chaff. They pursue chaff. They are easily deceived. They don't know which one is miracle from God and which one is miracle from the enemy. They don't know that the devil has power to call up something they call miracle. But if they have been taught they would have known that signs and wonders is not a proof that God is in heaven. Signs and wonders is not a proof that God is in heaven. If you are a Bible student, you would have known that in the days of Moses, Moses performed a miracle. And the magician performed miracles. Na Pharaoh ni pa no sube ye anwa wa die. The miracle of Moses swallowed the miracle of the magician. Na su Moses na anwa die no emne e ye anwa wa die fo no die. Na tru be bi no. They realize. On be hu yi. That this is the hand of God. Say we e ye nyankopon die. In other words. Die e ti ene se. There is limit. Nie e chire ene se. To what the devil can do. Ye wo pimpensu abon sam to me ye ko pim. Ye wo be bia. What Satan can do. But Satan has power. That you must know. And therefore, we are told in the word of God, we don't pursue miracles and wonders. But miracle follows us. It's natural. If you a child of God, miracle follows you. You don't follow after miracle. If you follow after miracle, you will swallow error. And before you know it, the error will kill you. Why? You are not well informed. You can discern. In, in Mark chapter 16, Mark chapter 16, let's look at verse 15. Mark 16, 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. And he that believeth is baptized and shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall not be shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with tongues, with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Now I'll say one say. Munko we are seeing now, Coca as empanon tre a body in now. Dear Oji Dieno, now Wobono Esuno, Wobegin on Qua, now dear Onion Dieno, Wobebuno for, now in century, and ye be the one hour Wobegi Eddie Echi, me demo Wobetu and Homone, Wobekasa Casa for fro, Wobema a wasso, now what say one nom Eduboni Biara, a ring ye won't she. Because they are not informed. Because they cannot discern. What do they do? Anywhere they hear is happening, they are there. Anywhere they hear that something is happening, they go there. These are the days of social media. These are the days you can you can you don't you don't look for information. It's at it's it's, it's before you. And that prince share a dear be you see some people. 
Because they don't know the truth. They want to hear the voice of demons. They, they don't know that demons are liars by origin. Satan is a liar. And the father of all liars. And he cannot give birth to those that are not liars. But when you know the word of God, you will be able to discern. Even if demons are speaking, you will be able to judge. Judge it with the word of God. Judge with the spirit of God. There are so many things you will use in judging. The devil may say something that looks like truth. But they don't have absolute truth. He may say something that, that has 90% element of truth. But ten percent is error. And ten percent has the capacity and ability to swallow the ninety percent. And that's what has happened to many people. I have seen people, you know, posting in internet and the rest of them where they are praying for people and then the spirit began to say this and say that and then they take it 100% and swallow. But the spirit might say it is your father that killed your mother. You don't know the intention. The intention, if you take it like that, then fire has entered into the family. And then the problem has started. And say so many things. So what I'm simply trying to tell you is even if the demon is speaking somewhere, subject it to the word of God. God. The word of God is what judges everything. And anything that is not according to the word of God, drop it there. Because God is not out of confusion. We are told in the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter. Chapter 8, verse 20. God contradict himself. Anywhere you see contradiction, it cannot be of God. Isaiah 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. No ni a dance no echi. Se wan kano said ye a semi tie a and ye a dear range won. Anything that does not agree with the scriptures. A dipia and ni nyanko pasem e bwe brano. It cannot be of God. And timin free nya me. In in first John, first episode of John chapter four. Yohan nguma a edikain. First episode of John chapter four. E tre a eye e nine. Look at what we are told. In verse 1, and it says, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Believe believe not every spirit. They try that spirit. Now, whether it's of God. But how can you try the spirit? How can you know whether it's of God? If you don't have a teacher, if you are not taught in the word of God, if you cannot rightly divide the world, how will you know? You must know a genuine money before you can dictate the counterfeit. 
Ese wo to me hu se sika papa se ne esiti ansa wo hu de e counterfeit. If you don't know genuine money. Se wo nim sika papa. You won't be able to detect the counterfeit. Wo be de hu de enye papa no. That is the reason why you have to come to Bible study. E no nti na so ba Bible church. That's why you have to come to all the meetings. E nti na so ba nhia mu ni nyina. So that you can be helped. Am I to me abua wo. Because we are living in the last days. E san si e wo mri de e wi. These are the days of deception. We e mri e na da e bre. That if you are not careful you'll be swept away. There was a prophet. There was a prophet in the Bible in 1 Kings chapters 13 or thereabout. God told him go and speak against what is happening at Bethel. Don't return from the way you went. Don't eat anything there. And he went. When he got there, he even performed a miracle. And after performing the miracle, there was a backsliding prophet. The children ran home and told him that the prophet just came in. And he rushed there and pleaded with the man. Let's go to the house so that we can find you something to eat. He said, no. I've been instructed not to eat anything and not to return from the same way I came. Do you know what the fourth prophet told him? He said, an angel told me, now, 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 now. That you should go home with me. And he got him convinced. God has said, don't return from the way you went. Don't eat anything there. Now he said, angel told me. And he went there. As they were, as they sat down and were, and were dining, the spirit of God came. Tell the man you deceived that he is not going to reach home. You told him. They dined. And after dining. Who did you hear? He returned. He, what, he wanted to return again from the way he was told not to return. I feel no person sans su kofa bebiya ya kachwa nse mo onfamba. With his horse. Oh, na me pon koso. And a lion came out. Ena jata epie. And killed him. Eno kuno. When he killed him. O kuno wey eno. He didn't devour the body. Wa wa wey ne hona mo. He didn't touch the the the, the horse. Wa wa fa ne san ka pon kono so. Na kofu che. The lion didn't do anything to the people. Na eh jata na anyo mo she. What is the message? Asi a chere say. God has killed you. Nyangu pon e kuno. Simple. So we are told. In the, in the book of Deuteronomy. E wo Deuteronomy mo ma. That if there arises in your midst. Say, say, oh, be sorry, one moment. A dreamer of a dream. Now, say, oh, see, what's soon that here? A prophet. Now, all your come share for. And he says anything. Now, okay, be be a chairman. And it's contrary from what God has said in His word. Ne tia di nyangu pa kan wana same ni mwa. Don't agree. Mamu ne ne nyaya join. Don't take it. Men fa. Because that person is meant to deceive you. San se sa sa ni pa no person be da da o. We hallow the word of God. Enti ye peja ni amia same no. We believe in dream. Ye ji da isu edi. We believe in prophecy. Na ye ji in komche sudi. But we scrutinize we scrutinize that prophecy with the word of God. Na so bribe edi tu tu chro same no ho. If there's any disagreement. Se e e e bo ebra. We keep it behind. Yeah, the best one chain. And follow the word of God. Now yet, the Nyamia seven. Because the word of God has been tested. Since the Nyamia seven, no, ya chire, ya chire. Any error. Na, and from so be a any who. But how can you know these things? Now, by then, we must answer me. How can you know them? By then, who? If you are not informed. Se wu ni mwa. If you are not taught. Se yen chire chire wa. If you don't have a shepherd. Se wu ni jan shepherd. How can you know these things? By then, who stand here many now? Look at some few scriptures. E ti masa kai chira se ni biya chira. In Proverbs chapter twenty-two. Wo mebu sem. Proverbs chapter twenty-two. Mebu sem e tre dionu mi enu. Verse number three. Yi yi mi ensa. Proverbs twenty-two. Verse a prudent man foreseeth evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. 
Oni te fu o hunu bone a ebeba na ode ne hu hunta na ntete kwa afemu na wonya asotwe. A prudent man. Oni te fu o. A wise man. Die one ni ate. He sees evil. O hu bone. Very very far. Se fre chichiri eba. And dodge it. Na we jina nchen. Who is a wise man? Why ni de ne ni ate. In this context. E wo sa ase mi mo. A wise man. De ne ni ate no. Is a man that has a pastor. Eni ni pa o wo o chefo. That is under a shepherd. Na o wo o jan chefo ase. And the shepherd will cure you evil coming. Na o jan chefo anu chire ni se bone na ebe. The shepherd will tell you how to dodge. Na o be chire no se no be se e jina nchen. The shepherd will tell you look. Look, you are you very soon enter into trouble. And if you are listening, you will escape. Because to be for one is to be for armed. If you don't have a shepherd, if you don't have any person that is guiding you, the Bible says that there is a way that seemeth right unto man. But the end of it is destruction. Look at Psalm 119. Psalm 119. Aha, ne edun kron. Let me show you something there. Min chira mo bibi u ewa wo. Look at verse number 98. Yen shwe nyi yim a eye. Psalm 119. Verse 98. Edi o kron wo che. He says, Thou, through thy commandments, hath made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. Wo mra nsem aye me o nyansa fo, asne matan fo, na e wo me da. Through thy commandment means through thy words. E chre se, wo nam wa sem so. Properly explained and interpreted for me. Wa chre chre mu a chre me no. I am now wiser than my enemies. Ama me ni ati asne matan fo. Because they are ever before me. San se, bribia omwe chwa me hon eshia. I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testaments or testimonies are my meditation. Me wonim die me sni ma chire chire fo nyina na wa dance sem eni ma jini. I understand more than ancients because I kept thy precepts. Me hunu adie mu me sni empenifo na me hwe wonsi esie me di so. Following the word of God. Wo di nyame asem achi no. We make you. Enu na be ma na. To know ahead you are Elders. Because the word of God is wisdom itself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 1. Let's look at verse number 5. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5. Let's see what we are told. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. A man of understanding shall attend unto wise counsel. Na onyansa fo ntie na nenim die nnoso na onim de fo mfa nya atempa efutu opa. A man of understanding. Onyansa fo will attend to wise counsel. Obesie nim die for in the multitude of counselors. If we say what nipa efutu fo bebre mu no. There are safety. Yeah wo in Proverbs chapter 9, verse 9. Wame busem etre aye enkron. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 9. Niyi yimu enkron. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Tu onyansa fofo na obekosu e hunu nyansa. Ma otini nini in hunu edi na obekosu na dini mu. Many, many years ago. En fie bebre we eshi. Somebody, a, 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 a. A prominent man in the society says something that I pocketed. Near 20 years now. I attended that seminar. Me Do you know what he said? Now him the okay. You don't give advice. I say you too. To somebody that do not need it. Eh eh, ma obi a on pay futio. It's a waste of time. I say who say who mre? You don't give advice. On here we futio no. To somebody that do not need your advice. I say man a say ni pan. You don't give advice. Ni pan on here futio. To somebody that is not your subject. I say man man a futio. Somebody that is not under you. Obi a on share wa say no. You don't have authority over me. 
He doesn't listen to you. He doesn't want to obey you. He wants want to go his own way. You don't give him advice. You will rather be wasting your time. That is that when you see elders. They talk to you. And talk to you. And talk to you. And discover that you are bent. Going your way. No, close their mouth. They are waiting for the inevitable. And that inevitable will soon come to pass. Because what an elder is sitting down and could not see. If you climb Iroko tree, you will not see that thing. So a wise man is the man that has a shepherd, has a counselor, and he listens. And as because he listens, he will avoid so many solos and troubles in life. May I tell you the intention of the devil? He came to steal. He to steal. And destroy. According to John chapter 10, verse 10. Satan is not a friend. Satan is not a friend. In John chapter 10, verse 10. The Bible called him a thief. What is his mandate? What is his mission? His mission is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is his mandate. How is he going to carry it out? Many ways. Number one, he will make you not to listen. They said, Who the gods want to kill? Yes, they will make him mad. When a dog is about to die, he doesn't perceive anything again. So the devil business to remove you from counsel. Remove you from fellowship. Remove you from people that will advise you. He will not carry gun. He will not carry machete. But when he succeeds in removing you from people that should be a shepherd, people that should guide you and direct you, he has finished you. You are accident in the waiting. You are accident. But you are in the waiting. It doesn't matter how many years it will take. It will happen. That's the devil for you. He came, he came to Adam and Eve. I said, eh, did God say you should not eat of this fruit? Did God say you should not eat fruit? Is that what God said? Is that what God said? Look at it in Genesis chapter 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 three. So that you we'll see how he took. Truth. To suit his purpose. In Genesis chapter 3. Genesis it was not too long I discovered this thing that I'm trying to tell you now. In verse number 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 two of Genesis chapter 3. And he said unto the woman, Yea. Had God said, Ye shall not eat. Of every tree of the garden. Now, Obanubuya, I want to say, Trum Hanya Abaninina. Is it what God said? Sana Sanadi Nyamikai. I am Yamikai. asking you. Maybe is that so. what God said? Sana Nyamikai. You should Yamikai. not eat every tree of the garden. Is that what God said? Yankupoka. God Sebo said Mundi. particularly, thou shall not eat of a particular tree. There may be one million trees. With fruits. Ah, and you and you This particular one. The You should not eat. Mamundi. Nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand is free for you. Do drop a break, Kenya. Iya modia. 
The very one that God said you should not eat. That is the one they went to eat. And yet there are millions of trees around. That is the devil for you. And he said again. You will not surely die. You You will die. But you will not surely die. Half truth is dangerous. He didn't, want to, he didn't want them to know what death means. They have not died before. They have not seen anything that died. They didn't know the consequence of dying. You will die, you. but will not surely die. You see it? And they believe. What happened? They throw the world into wilderness. Look at the suffering. Look at the trouble. Look at what is happening in the world. You know, some people that do not have knowledge. They say, is it this thing that God told them? Is this small thing? Is, is, that the reason why, is that the reason why the whole world will suffer? The Bible said, Bible said God remained truth. Let all men be liars. God remained truth. If God did not keep his word, then he has ceased to be God. If God did not do exactly what he said, then you can't trust him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What am I telling you? Then I make a you need to be very careful. You need to be under your shepherd. You need to be taught. If you refuse, you take your cancer, then you see where it will land you. You see where you get to. These are the things that sometimes my heart wants to break. Because I know that this way you have chosen. You can't get out of it. Because the devil is a liar. He won't show you what will happen to you. His mission is to kill you. To destroy you. To steal from you. My prayer is that from today you will consciously deliberately intentionally bring yourself under the authority of the church so that we reach heaven. If you read Hebrews chapter 3 from verse 18 to, to chapter 4 verse 1 there Paul was saying not all the people that came out from Egypt reached the promised land. Not right, you got born again. But we cannot guarantee you are reaching heaven. If you are not listening, if you don't take counsel, you may, you may not survive the wilderness. The world is a Wilderness. You will not survive the wilderness. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, Paul said, Let me remind you of what happened in the wilderness. For our parents came out, they were baptized under Moses, but some of them began to doubt, began to criticize, began to say one thing or the other, and then they came out from that baptism. Where they were under a crowd. And they all perished. So, let not us have the same faith with those people. Then he ended up by saying, Let him that think it is standing. Let him take heed. Apostle Paul said, Now, Hereby do I mortify my members to put them under subjection least after i have preached to others i myself will be a castaway if it is not possible why would you say it so let's learn a lesson 
BB. Now, access to worldwide or internet and satellite channels exposes the immature elect to deceptive, erroneous, damning revelations, prophecies, and doctrines. Say, say, a dear friend, internet, no, any satellites, no, a ma, eh, one one, yeah, you won't, no, yeah, me, ma, no, or ma, one more to me, the one when you won't, you're my dad, da, you're my entrecher, and you're my cum nipper, eh, 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 a foot wall, any entrecher, any income share, ah, eh, yeah, a throw. We are not saying you shouldn't access internet. Yeah, and I'm going to internet, so. But with serious caution. Because anything from God, the devil wants to corrupt it. In other words, bringing, I mean, trying to introduce evil into truth. This time around, you can, anything you want, you can get in the internet. Anything. If you want to look for people that are worshiping Satan. It's in the internet. If you want to see Jezebel Club, it's in the internet. If you want to feed your mind with, with immorality, you see it live in the internet. But what are they trying to do to poison your mind, to erase your mind, and if you do not know the truth sufficiently, you are gone. You begin to you begin to consider maybe it is true. Maybe, maybe, maybe they are right. I'm telling you. We have sometimes you see questions from from nowhere. When you when you try to investigate, you find out that though it's from those people that have fed their minds with what they are getting from the internet, and they are into confusion. It is because of the last day's events. It is because of the deception. That is why that is why God gave gifts to the church. Turn your Bible to Ephesians chapter 4. God has a reason for giving gifts in the church. In Ephesians chapter 4, Ephesians chapter 4, I am reading from verse, verse 11. Ephesians chapter 4, from verse 11. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. For what reason? For the perfecting, take note of that, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Now, I'm a binom aye asuma for a binom edi for a binom asem paka for a binom ashe for ne a church for now what to to a hotel for ye ama osum edumano share a honi ye ama what to to a hotel for ye ama osum eduman ama crystal nipediano see a koso to perfect you. You have come to the house of God. But you need to be taught. You need to be perfected. So many things have to be explained to you. You need to be prepared to do the work of God. You need to be prepared to do the service of God. You need to be prepared so that you can rightly divide the word of God. Look at verse number 13. Till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the status of fullness of Christ. To mature you so that you become like Christ. For Christ said, 
it is sufficient for a servant to be like his master. What is the end result? What will it result? In verse 14. That henceforth you be no more children, tossed to and flu, carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slate of men, and cunningly craftiness whereby they lie in way to deceive. That are not tossed to and flow. That are not carried away. And by every wind of doctrine. So many have entered into Eleanor's teachings. That are taking them away from the word of God. I don't want to mention any church. I don't want to mention what they believe. But why do people go into all these erroneous things? Because their foundation was faulty. They were not shepherded. They were not taught. They were not groomed. They had no foundation. And that is the reason why they will hear that it is better to worship on Thursday. They will begin to consider it. Maybe it's true. Before you know it, they are swept up. The person will come and tell them the rapture has taken place on radio. They begin to consider it. At a point, he said, maybe it's true. In fact, that the, what is happening now is already tribulation. They will believe. Whatever you give to them, they swallow. Why? They have been taught. Nobody has rightly divided the word unto them. Look at Ephesians chapter, chapter 4. Look at what he said. But you have no so long Christ. If so be that you have heard him and been taught by him, and the truth is in Jesus. No cre e wo Christo mu. You swallow all this poison. Obe minister e e do e do bro ina. Because I'm not told by Christ. Yes, I'm saying yes to enchantment. You are not learned from Christ. Who is learned from Jesus Christo? If you are learned from Christ, so what's learned from Christo? You will behave. Obe who? If you are learned from Christ, so what's learned from Christo? You will have knowledge. Obe nya nimdiye. What Christ said. Free so can say. Learn of me. Who is learned from me? Learn of me. Who is learned from me? Who is learned from me? That's what he said. And Paul said to Timothy, na, the things you have heard from me, the things you have learned from me, commit unto other people. So he would have learned something, he would have heard Timothy, something, commit it to other people. And then Paul said, Paul said again, na, Paul in Philippians chapter 4 verse 9, wo, Filippo, the things you have learned from me, you saw in me, you me, heard me, 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 you heard me, you heard me do the same. Apostle John said. The things, the, the things you have heard. The things you have seen. The things you have handled. Declare we unto you. That the truth is in Christ. And Peter said. Na Peter we are say, following Connelly device fables. But we were with you on the mount. And we had a voice that said, if you are the Lord's son, you are well pleased. Who taught you? Who taught you? Who was your teacher? The things you are doing, where did you learn it? If you learn it from Jesus, you won't go into error. That is the truth. Because Jesus said, I am the truth. And the Bible said, in 1st Timothy, chapter 6, look at 1st Timothy, chapter 6, look, look at what Paul said, 1st Timothy, chapter 6, and it says in verse 3, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to the wholesome words, 
even the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. Don't go there. Don't follow him. Don't listen to him. Se oni pe bia e ka asem bia enfa eh enfa endi mu a eni kwa se wudi sa nipa no echi. The whole song works. And some are a demo. The whole song works. And some are a demo. Complete teaching. And in church, a demo. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. A free Christ to hold. If anybody do not agree to it. So be a nina nyadria. Don't follow him. Mendi sani panetchi. How will you know? Now be a den wahu. Except we are taught. I just say a church. So let me quickly go through the second point. Eti minyan ten temu kodi etosu mi enunu mu. The possibility or the possible reason for the poverty. We are simply saying, how did people enter into this problem? How were they swept out of their, 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 their position? Number one, departure from the truth and ignorance or backsliding. Departure from the truth. When people depart from the truth, so they will be disoriented. When people are no more following, so another spirit enters them, and then they begin to tweet the scriptures. When people backslide, when people backslide, so another spirit enters into them. That is spirit of error. They, are, they will lower the standard. They will do things that will make people to join them. If, for instance, if, for instance, they belong to a group where they heard that it is one man, one wife. And now they have left it. Either they divorce their wives or whatever that happened or they married another wife. Now what do you think they will do? That aspect of the Bible will never be preached. And if there's any person that is in error, they will say, don't mind. After, after Solomon married 700 wives, Solomon you will begin to cite things that happen in the Old Testament. You will not be able to balance the truth because he has already entered into error. And he wants to justify his error. And people will follow him. Why? The Bible said, in every labor, there is what? Profit and 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 in that every labor is simply saying that if you give yourself to something and exact energy, you're going to get a result, whether it is good or bad. If somebody depart from the truth, so be free no cry no one and goes about and begin to tell people that. Saturday is the right day to wash it. And he begins to say it with every emphasis. Before you know it, 10 people, 15 people will join him. It is so big call any name, no say, Mimin Dan, say yes, Suma. No, the Nahua Dina, a boss as and Panadera, won't say in chair, and if I do, do no, no, Mudinachi. Does he make it right? And on a man, he no crown. God told Joshua, this work of God or this book, book of the law should not depart from your mouth. That shall meditate on it day and night. For dearly, that we had good success. Yanku pon kache Joshua says, "Sam ransom me. First year we come mo na ube drink drink mo e wiani anajo. E no na wakwa in ebe etrene na ube nya e mudi e a e sumbo." If there is good success, there are bad success. Eti ye wo inkunim dia e ye papa ye wo dia e ye bonesu. Did you hear what I said? If there is good success, there are bad success. If there is good source, there are bad sources. If somebody, if somebody hacked somebody's account and then took one million dollars or one million CDs and it's not caught, has it not succeeded? So be ra or be account, no nice or kovieska and pim pim free ma. So what 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 di what di ne sun kunim? Is it a good sources? Now so eh papa. So when someone exerts energy, in fact, it is it is commonly believed. 
that whatsoever your mind can conceive, if you pursue it, you are likely going to get it. So don't don't begin to say if God is not following them, why are they succeeding? Then the question is asked in verse twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. To whom shall we go? Thou alone has the word of eternal life. How we believe that you are the Messiah. To whom shall we go? If you have taken the truth, you will be able to know when somebody has fallen into error. John chapter 6 verse 60. John chapter 6 verse 60. Johannes, a train siang, ye mudun siang. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Do this offend you? What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where, where he was before? It is the spirit that quickened, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak, speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, therefore, and he said, therefore, said I unto you, on, uh, said I unto you that no man can come unto me except if we are given unto him by my father. From that time, many of the disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus to the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Peter answered and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou art the word of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. You can see. They had a hard saying. They had a hard saying and many went back. Like we are saying this morning. Somebody may say, if this is what it takes to go to heaven, I don't think I will I don't think I will come back again. I think we need to tell you the truth. So when people fail to understand a teaching, they will not be able to do a spectrum. And when men backside, they get into disorientation. Why do people get impoverished? Why people run into problems? The second reason is this. The deceitful activities of misinformed friend or brethren. Activities of misinformed Friend or brethren. Activities of misinformed. Friends or brethren. You are the brethren that are not properly informed. The brethren that are not taught. Listen to me. Listen to me. You see, I don't know how, what we do to help people. Many people will run into problems because they do not go for counseling. We are talking of activities of misinformed brethren. Their behaviors. We are in the church. Sometimes you find people going into business deal. They will not inform the pastor. They will not tell anybody. They don't know that the pastor is in position to know a lot of people in the church. They know people that are not following 
following. There no people that are not genuinely born again. You assume anybody you see in the church has become a brother or a sister. You are making a serious mistake. Because it is not so. There are ties in the midst of, I mean, uh, 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 we see people that are that are like tars in the in the main in the main field. Nipani be brete se nchechre a omu wo edia efu ni mu. They pretend to be Christians. Omu yeti se do omu ya a a Christopher. Omu yeti se do omu diye chwe. Then you dumbo into their hands. Now so you will not take person. Omu en en kanchre o chefo. When the business knocks. Ne mo mo se o how be ba. Pastor will hear it. Now I fear no software. And then they will blame the pastor. Now fear yes, yes, software no. And when they got into the transaction, now so bro, I'm all rusty. They didn't talk to pastor. Now software no. Pastor is not aware. Oh, name who she? But when he fails, now so bro, I best say no. He goes back to the pastor. Now fear, I sound better or share. These are the things we are seeing. When it the year who? Almost every now and then. They be a say in the year who? We are trying to settle cases. Now Bribiani a diasem. Settle people in business. Ye diasem, ye diasem, ye diasem. I remember around 1985. Me kai pa sebre chem It wasn't long we started. Now and yes, I bring yes. There was someone that were coming to church. Now you will be a oba sorry. And brethren thought he had repented. Now ebi muju nse wa sacha na jo. Ah, he was duping brethren. Now now oh oh bu enko fwe po. I don't know how many. I don't know how many people he duped. Me nim ni padu. And when he leaked out, do you know what he said? He said he knew that he had never been a Christian. But he had caused the damage. What are you going to do? In my own room, I will pray to God. When we are having fellowship in my room, and everybody was praying, and somebody went and they were praying, and somebody went and everybody was 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 and opened the drawer and took money there and when people were still praying so you don't have to assume but what are they succeeded in doing they are succeeded in poisoning the minds of people and they will generalize everybody is a thief everybody is not a thief there are people that are generally looking for God but I will advise you if you want to go into any business with anybody let your pastor know if you don't want to tell your pastor if you are thinking that pastor will come and take the profit from you and you don't want to tell your pastor when trouble comes please don't tell anybody did you hear me? did you hear me? when trouble comes Say it. Please swallow it. So that we can have peace in the house of God. In Psalm 103, verse 1. In Galatians chapter 1. Galatians chapter 1. I want to read from verse 8 to 10. Galatians chapter 1. Galatians chapter 1. Galatians verse uh, 8 to 10. But though we or angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God, or do I speak to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of the Lord. Paul was saying, this thing you have from us preached, please take it. If anybody comes to you privately to tell you something and tell you that you look like this, you look like this, you look like this, don't believe it. Believe what has gone out from the pulpit. Paul says, so be bound chain or be catch your own as a full fro, a free, ah, and yet no cray, ah, a yet, a yes, from cool free day, I didn't can catch your own now. Men jindy, or catch your say, she way, she way, she way, ah, men just any panel ending. Second Thessalonians chapter two, Thessalonica for Oma. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse one to three. Now we beseech you, brethren, 
by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon taken, checking in your mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by way, nor by letter, as from us at that day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. They say they, be, they, say they are come falling away first, and that man of sin must be revealed. The son of perdition. Now look at this statement. Okay. That tells you that even at the time of Paul, people were already confusing people that rapture had taken place. It's a way to say, Brana, Paul, a blessing in an unable mood that they've been on say, or she may not see you. This is about 2,000 years ago. We are in fear and pimmy and which people were already carrying the story that rapture has taken place. And so, maybe no say, or she may not see you. And Paul said, Now, Paul can say, Let nobody disturb you, memo be another by letter or by words. Listen to what we are telling you. Of course, that man of sin will not come until there be some manifestations. In fact, he said that the mystery of iniquity the, 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 you know, is already in display. At that time has not yet come. Now, today, and then, people say all kind of things. They say tribulation, tribulation has come. They they say, rapture before tribulation. There are so many things that fly in the air. But I want to tell you the word of Jesus. Said, that time no man knows. He said, My father that is in heaven. But this is the kind of mind he will carry. That it can happen any moment. So, blessed is that servant. Whom his master, when he returned back, we find him so doing. He gave a parable of the, the, the foolish and the wise virgins. The, the, the true, the true, the true picture is that every child of God should be living as though rapture will be any moment, any time. Nobody knows the time. Be ready. So that wherever it happens, then you can go. But if somebody begins to tell you this and this and that, they will put you into error. We are still discussing how the people get into this poverty of, of mind. How they, how they got into this confusion? Why are people misled? The next point three says discouraging activities of false brethren. These are represent to activities of people purported to be bred in charge. Activities of false bred Those that are living double standard lives. They come to church and pretend that they are Christians. But they go and live a different Lives. But they have created a picture that they are children of God and they put them in trouble. Look at what the Bible said. In Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14. I'm reading from verse number 12. Romans chapter 14. Roma Roma, three Verse nine. number 12 to 13. And it reads, Let us not therefore judge one another anymore, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion of falling in his brother's way. In his brother's way. I know and I'm persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean 
of himself, but he that eateth anything to be unclean, to him is unclean. The point we are bringing out here is that the activities of some people who purported to be Christians has brought a kind of stumbling block to the brethren. Many years ago, our pastor preached on this on this verses. Yes, so for fans, and he titled it Brother Stumbling Block and Sister Stumbling Block. Brother Stumbling Block and Sister Stumbling Block. Causing a brother to err. Causing a sister to err. By how? These are days of uh, internet and whatever, whatever. Sabri, eh, yeah, internet, bre. You send text messages. Na ye the text messages. That are not vetted. Ah, yen shu shemu. You sent a sister. Now they are coma on your ba. You sent a brother. They are coma on your bema. You are not mindful of what you are sending. Now who nim the ode e e. Some will even send nude pictures to sisters. Obi kra e di obi ano hunda so e di beko a koma on your baby. What are you thinking? Then a wo wa dream. What are you suggesting? Then para na o peso kachire on your ba. You follow the mind of the sister. E tu peso o se sister na dream. And the sister begin to lose. Na sister nu bo sa. You follow the mind of the brother. Na. And the brother begin to lose. A kono e bo e running. And from there he fall off from faith. E free one bo se wa she a se e free di de no. You have become a stumbling block. Na ni a wo e na wo de a she a se a tu ne nim. Careless visit. You visit a sister that is not married. At all hours. What are you doing? You are considered a stumbling block. And the people that are in the yard, they see you come all the time. And they know that this sister is single. Would you go and would, what would you go and? Them. How will you convince them that nothing is happening? And you stay there two, three hours. How are, they, are, are they angels? How will they know that nothing is going wrong? And the place of market. You, you will fight. You don't care. You will fight. Those people that are within that environment. Will you invite them to church? We become a stumbling block. Then, what has happened? Reasonable people will not follow you to church. Reasonable people will not follow you to church. You are become a hindrance to the work of God. You make the work of you make the work of God tougher for those that are living right. The next one says disturbing and damning intimidating activities of elders and ministers. This is very serious. He's talking to elders. Talking to pastors, pastors, any 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 Jesus said, because of their sake, I sanctify myself. In John chapter, John chapter 17, verse number 19, John 17, 19, look at what Jesus said, and for their sake, I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified through thy truth. For their sake, I am careful so that I don't be a bad model so that I don't make somebody to err. Paul said, if eating meat 
will run my brother into trouble. I will not eat meat. The question is eating meat is it bad? It's it bad? It's not bad. But there's a way you display the meat. It becomes a temptation to a brother. There's a way you leave. It becomes a temptation for a brother. The Bible says, let everything be done decently and in order. That you should be very careful not to offend the church, not to the Gentiles. Not to offend the Jews. We should be very, very careful. And if they are holding the word of God, you must know that all eyes are on you. You set a standard for yourself. So that nobody will follow, nobody will go to hell as a result of your attitude. If you go into the world, people are committing sin. Talk of immorality. It's, it is a form. It's a food for them. But when a minister of God, when somebody that is holding a position, get involved in immorality, if media people hear it, it will go viral. But have people not been committing sin? Have people not been committing sin? Have people not been committing sin? And so said Bonnie in Crawford, involve a prominent person in the house of God. I want you to make sure it goes viral. I'm going to make sure to say, but I'm going to credit God. I'm a young couple, no, I'm a brand or as to discredit God. I'm a young couple, so that is the reason why I perform. That is the reason why you have to be very careful. In church, people commit immorality. We are aware. If it comes to our notice, we will, we will discipline the person. Yes. Aye. That is the appropriate thing. And the members of the church, they will, they will quickly forgive the person. And say, after all, he's a human being. But when a pastor gets involved, if care is not taken, that closes his ministry. So you see, we are in danger. You have to be very careful. The way, the way you live, the way you live with your wife, the way you live with people, everywhere. That's why Paul said, follow peace with all men. Holiness. Without which no man shall see the face of the Lord. I hereby do I exercise myself as a conscience void of offense towards God and to it is a dangerous office. You have to be careful. You have to be careful. I won't be able to, I won't be able to read all the references. But this is part of the reason that people are not following. Because they are looking at people. Now, we talk of uh, delay but not denier in obtaining a desired objective. Impatience is one of the instruments deployed by the devil to destabilize the pilgrims. God made a promise to you or you found a promise in the word of God and you believe initially and you are waiting. You waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and it didn't come to pass and the devil began to whisper to you why not help yourself why not do this? Why not do that? If care is not taken, you will succumb. Even our father Abraham, it happened to him. God made a promise to him. And he waited and waited and waited. And he pierced, it will not come. With all the assurance that God gave to him, the wife lured him into eternity. Part of the problem is we are still facing it today. 
That action of Abraham. Abraham the, word is, the word is still suffering it today. Abraham has gone to heaven. Abraham called heaven. But Ishmael. Now so Ishmael. Was the father of Arab nations. Arab for Papa. And you know the hatred between the Arabs and Israel. The, the hatred cannot be killed. I'm telling you, it cannot be killed. It's only God that knows how to settle it. That family problem that started. As a, result, as a result of eternity. So when you are doing something, try to ask yourself, what is this alternative? What is it going to yield? If you put your mind that way, you would have saved yourself and saved so many people. And so the Bible says, you have after you have done the will of God that you might obtain the promise for just a little while he that we come, we come and we are not tired. For the judge shall live by faith. If we said, We are not of them that return back from following. But we are among them that believe to the saving of souls. If anybody returns back, and so we have no pleasure in him. So delay can make somebody to stumble. Delay. delay. And then overthrow the faith of others. Finally, demonic influence, spells, dreams, activities of false prophets. The defenses resolve on men and make them susceptible to demonic manipulation. The dear tree at that morning, a home home in Shaswa, a dire son, any unconscious for a true for Omona da, a subetic bones, a betting of a so, a dama, a binomo jide, a shiasi. Demonic influences at that morning in Shaswa, spells, any dreams, any a dire son, activities, any in the UAB of false prophets. I come shafwa to for no a faso. I don't have time. You have the scriptures there. You can read it. But I want to drop a word with you. Almost everything in the house of God has a counterfeit. Satan has ministers. Satan has prophets. Satan Workers. All the ministries you see, we have counterfeit of them. All these things is to thwart and to deceive. But if you want to, if you want not to be deceived, it is possible. What do you do? Then follow with all your heart. Follow close. Those that are following God. Paul said, Follow me as I follow Jesus. Follow as though you are blind. Follow as though you don't have sense. Follow. And Somebody will say, Am I not a grown up? Don't I have mind? Better leave you with this scripture. In Hebrews chapter 13. If it, if, it, if it were not there, I would have agreed with you. That after all, you are an adult. And you have mind. Look at Hebrews chapter 13. Verse number 7. Remember then which have rule over you, who has spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. These are people you will follow. People that preach to you, 
people that led into Christ, people that showed him the truth. Look at their lifestyle. Look at the way they are living. Look at the way they are conducting their lives and follow. That's the way to follow. And see, Omo Omo Chire Chire Wono Kai Omo Se Obe Di Omo Echi San Krofo No Omo Brabo No Eno Ne Se Udi Echire Look at verse number 17. Yen Shen Yim Dun So Obey them that have rule over you Submit yourselves For they wash for your soul As they that must give account That they may do it with joy And not with grief For that is unprofitable for you And it is a woman Ah, woman she was one Now my mother to me Abu Hu Akonta Wa ni jemu No man fa reho Embu hu akonta If we say no so man fa so Emma hu Number one Obey them Obey them Obey them Number two, submit unto them. Number three, they are washing over your life as to give account to the master. Number four, let them not be discouraged by your following. Number five, it will not be well for you. If you do not follow. So when do you Let's rise up to pray. You can advise yourself. Make a prayer. I will follow. Make us a media tree. I will come to Bible study. Meba Bible at the I will come to the meetings. Meba church so that I will be taught. Am I a church? So that I will know. Am I a church? Particularly toward this end of time. And can carry a media tree. When deception is everywhere. A brand that that will be bia. When the spirit of deception is playing. A brand that that will be bia. I want to be guided. I want to be directed. I want to follow people that are following God. People that are serious with God. This is hard to escape. Don't be like a child that is an orphan. Don't behave as though there's nobody that is washing over your soul. Begin to pray now. Begin to talk to God. I said begin to pray now. Begin to take resolutions. Begin to talk to God. Begin to take decisions. One thing is to repent. And another thing is to follow. To follow to the end. Anybody can fall off. Anybody can fall off. Let it not be you. Let it not be you. Follow them, O God. O my Father and my God. I thank you, Lord. The word has gone out to God. Let your word fulfill the purpose. Say that every word that gone out from your mouth will not return to you void. They will accomplish the purpose. My Father and my God. When people are taught, when the truth, O God, is given, my Father. It will save people. Lord, you say we shall know the truth. And the truth will make us free. Gracious Father. These are the evil days, Lord. These are the days of deception. These are the days when it is difficult to God. For people to discern the truth from error. My Father and my God. We are living in days of darkness. Gracious Father. These are the days, O oh God. 
when you say that people have itching ears and they will not want to tell the truth, these are the days when people will select what they want to hear. Lord, and you say that if time is not taken, the erect shall be deceived. My Father, my God, save your people, O oh God, as many, Lord, that are seeking, as many that want to know the truth. Lord, I pray, you say we should buy the truth and sell it not. Help the church, O oh God. Flush this church, O oh God, from people that are erroneous, people that are living down standard lives. Expose them, Lord. Expose them, O oh God, and flush them out. Flush them out, O oh Lord. Flush them out, O oh God, because the sinner will not stand in the congregation of the righteous. Lord, how long should they be? Expose them, O oh God. You said that judgment will start in your house. Therefore, my Father and my God, anybody that is not willing to repent, anybody that is not willing to turn to a new life, a new, a new way of life, Lord, expose such a person. My Father, cleanse your church, cleanse your hearts. Help us, O God, as many, O God, that want to live right, as many that are endeavoring to live right. Help them, O God. Help them, O God. Help them, O God. Help them, O God. Let your grace be made sufficient for as many that want to follow you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today.